Stewie, what are you doing up? Lewis had three lattes and a bottle of wine today, so her breast milk was basically a speedball. You? I'm writing. I stopped drinking, and I'm about to self-publish a book. Ugh. I'm just proud of accomplishing my goal. That's great. I'm happy for you. Even if your privilege is showing. Privilege? Fragility much, Brian. Uh, who are you even talking about? Well, not you, you big honky Karen. <laughs> I'm just I'm just riding your jock, Bri. You know, I'm having a little publishing party on Thursday. I'd love it if you could come. Yeah, uh, Rupert, do we have anything on Thursday? Okay, then. Looks like we're good to go. Wait to think fast, you dope. Now we have to go. Oh, now you have something on Thursday? Griffin, what are you doing? I'm about to test a prototype for Desk Pauline. Pop will need to be bouncy. Anyway, what can I do you for? I'm sorry to say, I have some bad news. Thanks for giving it to me straight. I haven't even told you yet. Stella will be gone for six weeks. You got six weeks to lose a hundred pounds and get divorced. Employees now get six weeks to mourn the loss of a pet. It's our way of saying your animal died. If your pet dies, you get six weeks off? Yes. Let's see how long you last with no breaks, Brian. Oh, breaks out. Nice try, Peter. Fortunately, you can stop a Prius by cupping the wind. Hello, and welcome to Quahog Books. And now, reading from his new book, Chasing My Tail. Tail is spelled T-A-L-E, not like the thing on my butt. Please welcome author Brian Griffin. Why are you even here? Just a hunch. Please, proceed. My mother was a huge bitch, and I lost my virginity at six months old. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have told you first. I'm a dog, but I'm definitely not trash. Then she put on my jeans and left. And so, as the sweet mango flavor hit my lungs for the last time and knew that we were both now, in a sense, finally free. The beginning. God, that took forever. I gotta go. The twins have a volleyball game. There you go, Seamus. Thanks. I'll put it right on my shelf. Thanks so much for coming, Stewie. Of course. What a night. Anyway, it, it means everything to have you here, so thanks again. And if the eight of you could somehow buy a quarter of a million dollars worth of books, tomorrow I won't have to marry a man I've never loved. Excuse me, could you please direct me to the about to die section? Sure, right this way. You've heard of a Japanese fighting fish? This is a Japanese honorable suicide fish. Too much backstory. We also have a very old parrot. Family? May I kindly introduce you to our ticket to six weeks bereavement leave in lovely Puerto Vallarta, an 80-year-old parrot. Peter, I don't want some elderly bird crapping all over the house. Fine. You can have your bird. Oh, you smell that, Brian? First fire of the season. Chris, Bonnie's gone to bed. She's not going to open her curtains again. Just take your dump and let's go. Hey, check it out. How white people make giving away their trash seem like generosity. Is this my book? <laughs> Did he even bring it home? Is our friendship worth nothing to him? I'm gonna go home and give him... Oh, Bonnie opened her curtains. Sounds like somebody's having fun. Joe? I thought that was you. Ah, goodness, no. Pass me a Michael Crichton. She's gonna be a while. Does this look familiar, Stewie? It's the culmination of my life's work, and it was in the little free library. That's so weird, man. So how'd it end up there? I don't know, some liberal cuck Marie kondo is loft? Let me check my security footage. Crazy, man. The footage is gone. How did you even know when to check? I didn't tell you when I found it. All the footage is gone. Brian, not only did I not give away your book, a deep ring I can only penetrate by nailing a bunch of guys. Close the door on your way out, Brian. I need privacy to think about dicks for hire. Thanks, Jerome, but I got this. So cool. Und du bist wie mein dicker Vater. His language is so weird. Well, I speak German. I went on an exchange trip in high school. For some reason, my parents never bought the airfare back. Joe, ask Gonzo where he's from. Gonzo, woher kommst du? Ich wurde 1942 in Düsseldorf geboren. Well, that can't be right. Hitler like had a what now? Look, it's him. Das bin ich. Nazi want a cracker? Nazi want a cracker. Oh my God, you're right. Whatever happened over there was completely normal, and I don't think about it during quiet moments. I mean, uh, crazy about Peter's bird, right? Stewie, I know you gave my book away. What is this? Everyone on our street has a ring camera. Hello, I'm back. You guys were right. Murdering strangers is better than paying my credit card bill. I got rid of the book you forced me to take after you badgered me into coming to your reading. Are you so narcissistic you can't do one small thing for me? I'm narcissistic. You're the one who needs your book on display in my room. Did you even read the inscription? 
Yes. Well, then what did it say? From one hard body to another, you lit the flame that ignited my soul. My best friend, my inspiration, B. Edward Griffin. Your initials are big? Oh, hey, Lois, you know, I just remembered that thing I wanted to tell you before. Peter, if you knew that, why the hell did you bring that bird to Meg's performance of Sound of Music? Sind hinter dem großen Stein. Ah, nach links. Sein my left, not stage left. You're getting warmer. What? The parrot started it. Peter, if you don't get rid of that bird, I'm calling animal control. You ever hear a revenge porn, Lois? Peter, if you did that, then everyone would see your penis. Look at us restoring a classic car. Yep, 2004 Saturn Ion. This baby captures all the glory of my youth. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I just want to throw out my laptop since I won't be writing anymore. Just abandoning my lifelong dream since even my best friend can't support me. So you're getting rid of all your photos, too? I mean, I'm sorry to keep pushing back on this. It just feels like throwing away the laptop is, is just unnecessary. Goodbye, dream. Okay, last objection, I swear, but which is the last Friday of every month? It's fine. Laptop! 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 There he is, the genius getting his inspo. What do you want? You wrote about kibble with a lot of passion. Uh-huh. You described a lot of trees, and you also let us know which ones were steadfast. <laughs> it's pointless. I've given writing my whole life, and I can't even get ten people to come to a reading. Really? That game is, like, very easy. Just get out of here! This is terrible. We have to help him. I have a great idea. What is it? Netflix for guns. Perhaps we can lift Brian out of his funk if we get his book on the New York Times bestseller list. Wait, are you telling me that some of Donald Trump Jr.'s success isn't based on merit alone? Every alcoholic housewife in this country does whatever Reese Witherspoon says. Crawdads and long hikes, so she's happily passing, no regrets. Okay, plan C. What's that? Use Lois's account to buy three copies on Amazon. Canine non-fiction under 60 pages category. Uh, you do it. Come on, Chris. You, you're not actually a robot, are you? Identity compromised. Abort mission. Greeting, sibling. If you will excuse me. So, what do you want to watch, Nazi bird? Fox! <laughs> I'm sorry, am I bothering you? No, it's fine. I bought this parrot used, and turns out he's Adolf Hitler's old pet. And I was thinking maybe if you said he's okay, maybe they'd back off. Let us see what it says in the- <laughs> Torah! Torah? What's that? Our sacred scroll. Oh, I thought those was rolls of brawny. My friend, your bird is Jewish. He only pretended to be a Nazi to survive the war. We must celebrate with some matzah. Lachayam! <laughs> Oh, look at you, Brian. Back in the saddle. Well, it's like Ray Bradbury said. That's a really healthy attitude for someone who just failed. Who the hell used my Amazon account to order three copies of Brian's book? <laughs> oh, boy. So now, after having insulted me, you've deceived me. All I care about is external validation. I'm a dog. Don't you talk to me about devastating. What do you mean? Don't you understand? Brian, I only got rid of the book because I was jealous of you. Every time I walked by your book, it was a reminder of all that I haven't accomplished. And you made me feel really bad. Guess I really succeeded. You did. I'm proud of you, Brian. Now please never do anything again. Friends? Friends. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Chris would like to say a couple words. Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Don't forget to sign the guest book.